So ladies and gentlemen, Craig Hansen here. Welcome to my video. We're going to be talking about shallowing out your plane and perhaps using something that's not often spoken about. We're going to have a look at the finish position and we're going to talk about a little bit of separation here and some pelvic tilt. So what we see a lot is, or what I see a lot is when people are coming into impact and swinging through the ball, is I see people getting the, the chest and the head ahead of the belt buckle ahead of the left foot. Now when we do that, what happens is the right arm will get slightly higher than the left and the right shoulder might just kick out a little bit and it really does cause a bit of a steepening effect, a tipping over effect with this shaft. Now what we're trying to achieve is to get up into a finish where we're actually getting the belt buckle in front of the chest, getting a bit of pelvic tilt here a bit of curve or a bit of arch in the small of your back and what that will do is it will create a bit of separation from the bottom half to the top half rather than keeping these legs passive and moving in this direction we'll be creating a bit of separation a little bit of slide a little bit of lateral movement there's a lineal and lateral movement before it turns into a rotational one so we'll just hit one and we'll get up in two the finish position and then we can talk about it. So up solid strike, up into a finish position and we can see that in the finish position we can see that there's an arch in the back, we can see that the belt buckle is in front of the chest creating this separation from the bottom half to the top half. It's a great way to get this club or this shaft to shallow out in the last stages of your downswing. Give it a try, it's a really good feeling and it helps a lot of people. 